On this channel, I've taught you how to remove any virus from Windows, and as some of you have been quick to point out, there are indeed some viruses that cannot be removed. In this new YouTube series, we're going to talk about some of the most dangerous viruses ever created. Greetings, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're delving into the dark and intriguing world of cybersecurity to unveil the chilling tale of the most dangerous computer virus ever unleashed. Prepare yourselves for a journey through digital chaos as we explore the notorious UEFI firmware rootkit known as Lojax. I'm your host Nico, and let's jump in. Before we dive in to the most dangerous virus ever created, I would like to thank Aura for making this video possible. A few months ago, some hackers tried to dox me, but fortunately, I already had Aura, who sponsored this video. Aura is the all-in-one cybersecurity service that allows you to quickly and easily remove your information from online data brokers. Private information such as your address, phone number, relatives, and more are all for sale by online data brokers. Aura enables you to opt out of all these rackets with the click of a button. Aura also includes a strong antivirus, VPN, credit monitoring, and a million dollars of identity theft insurance. Use the link aura.com forward slash Nico to get a two week free trial today. Before we can delve into Lojax, we have to grasp the basics. UEFI, or Unified Extensible Firmware Interface, is the modern replacement for the traditional BIOS. It is responsible for initializing hardware components when your computer boots up. Firmware, on the other hand, is software embedded in hardware, like your motherboard, to manage its functions. A virus, such as a rootkit, that could infect the firmware of a computer's motherboard are truly the stuff of nightmares, and many experts claim that infections such as Lojax either do not exist or are too rare to be talked about. Despite the pushback from big security firms, some IT YouTubers have decided to take a stand and reveal that these threats are in the wild today. Lojax is by far the most dangerous computer virus I've ever encountered simply because it makes it nearly impossible for an end user to remove it. But what exactly is Lojax? The assumption for the longest time was that such threats were extremely rare and not something to be taken seriously. That was until the infamous hacker team known as APT28, better known as Fancy Bear, allegedly hacked into the Democratic National Convention. What did they use? They used Lojax. This rootkit gained notoriety for being the first known UEFI-based malware. It infects the UEFI firmware, making it one of the most persistent and difficult to detect forms of malware in the world. Lojax's primary goal is to provide attackers with an invisible backdoor into the system, gaining them long-term access and control. But wait, that is impossible, you may say. Many IT professionals firmly believe that the only way that a hacker could infect your motherboard's firmware is if they are physically at your computer. For the longest time, this was true. However, Lojax uses an extremely powerful and arguably dangerous Chinese program called Read Write Everything. Now before we continue, I must advise you and strongly recommend that you do not use Read Write Everything unless you are a trained professional. Failure to heed this warning can result in permanent damage and rendering your computer unusable. Read Write Everything allows the user to not only read any firmware on the machine, but also allows the user to delete and even overwrite directly to the SBI flash storage, where the UEFI is located. Lojax starts its journey by exploiting vulnerabilities in your computer security, such as hardware designed to be compatible with Lojax by CompuTrace, an anti-theft technology where Lojax derives its name. Once inside, it installs a malicious UEFI module, effectively rewriting parts of the firmware. This module ensures that even if you wipe your hard drive and reinstall your operating system, Lojax will persist, hidden deep within the firmware. If you haven't taken preventative measures against this, once your motherboard is infected, the only hope you have is to update your BIOS and pray. Update your BIOS and pray. It is true that once your UEFI is infected with Lojax, all you can do is hope that updating it will overwrite the malicious code hidden on the SPI flash. But what if it doesn't? If that doesn't work, most users are gonna to have to end up replacing their motherboard and that's gonna get expensive. While some manufacturers design their BIOS updates to overwrite empty volumes, AKA free space, some design their updates to assume that empty volumes are indeed empty, so the update skips them 
leaving behind Lojax on the victim's computer. What is absolutely clear is that the best defense against firmware threats such as Lojax is to prevent the infection before it occurs. But what are the best defenses against firmware rootkits? At the time of this recording, the only known defenses against Lojax are the features such as Secure Boot, which tries to validate bootloaders such as the one used by Windows. This feature only works when activated and if the UEFI is properly updated. Your greatest defense is a strong antivirus. Recommendations for antivirus suites that can detect Lojax are in the description below. A better solution that you as a community can create to combat this kind of threat is to make your voices heard to the manufacturers that write the UEFI and its updates. If all of these companies would simply design their BIOS updates to never skip empty volumes, then all a victim would need to do in order to remove a UEFI firmware rootkit such as Lojax would be to run an update. I would like to thank you for watching this video, and if you would like to see more, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and click the like button. I just hit 50,000 subscribers and hope to reach 100,000, and only you can make that happen. Stay tuned for part two coming out very soon, and until then, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.